What's going on guys, it's David here. Welcome to another, you know it, devotional Saturday. And guess who's my cameraman today? You'll never guess. It's Gary. Yep, my buddy. Uh, so he's back. We are filming. And uh, yeah, so at the park, enjoying last day of September. When you see this though, it'll already be October. But I love the fall, it's awesome. Hoodie weather, oh yeah. So, <laughs> Gary shaking his head like, nope. <laughs> you like the summer? Yeah, Gary, yep, likes the summer. I like fall, I like the hoodie weather. 55, 60, 55 is probably the best. But uh, in the crisp air, in the leaves, everything's changing, it's nice. So, today's devotional is from Turning Points with God by David Jeremiah. And it is titled, Known But To God. From Galatians chapter 5, 22. I hear Gary's phone going off, and my phone I heard was just going off. So that's crazy. But uh, so it's Galatians 5, 22. The fruit of the Spirit is goodness. At Arlington National Cemetery, there is a memorial tomb that contains the remains of unknown soldiers from various wars, primarily World Wars I and II, called the Tomb of the Unknowns. The inscription on the tomb reads, Here rests in honored glory an American soldier known but to God. If you are ever in doubt about what makes a person great, do not look to Hollywood elite or the upper crust of society. Greatness is not found in possessions, power, or prestige. Rather, it is found in the goodness, humility, service, and character, all of which can be found in the majority of military men and women. They don't sign up to defend the con their country with the goal of being honored and glorified. They simply believe they are called to carry out this awesome responsibility. What are you pursuing in life? More things and more stat status? Or do you desire to carry out God's will and see Him glorified? If you truly wish to be great, follow the example of selfless, humble American soldiers and be devoted to, to and be a devoted Christian, known but to God. And I love that. Like this also reminds me of a quote from a friend, uh, my friend Jim, and he said, "There is no greater success than that the Lord knows your name." So, guys, what are you doing for the Lord? What what's the will for his life. What are you, are you living it out as in scripture? One thing is he tells us to go out into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Are you doing that? Are you sharing the gospel with people? Um, are you doing it at work? What are you doing at work? Are you living by the fruit of the spirit? It's goodness, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I know I start to lack those things at times and the worldliness creeps in and I'm living for the world, but then you got we got to Make sure we understand where we keep our focus, not here, but here to the Lord. This is the world, this is to the Lord. So be known by Him, by God, guys. All right? So just remember, no greater success than that the Lord knows your name. That's success, guys. So there you have it. Till next time, I love you. Peace. We're going walking.